Among the attractions of Switzerland, which are many, their cheeses emphasize the taste and rigor as they are produced in their distinct regions, each one with its peculiarities. Alp cheese is an example. We are here in the municipality of Hapkern in the Bernese Alps. This region is at an altitude of 1,300 meters and in the last 500 years the landscape here has not changed much and also the way the cheese is produced. For about three months during the summer the bucolic region serves as a pasture for the small flock that feeds on natural pasture with specific herbs that grow in the Alps. Natural pasture without artificial fertilizers, pure and healthy mountain air, peace. These attributes are responsible for the milk quality of the herd and for the uniqueness of the Alp cheese. The technology used in the production of cheese is still practically the same applied for centuries. Milking is done twice a day and cheese production is done here. The time between milking and the manufacturing process must be no later than 18 hours. Angela and Simon work manually on the milking and production of Alp cheese. This technique for the production of Alp cheese dates back to 1548. Today, the work has incorporated some advances, but the recipe is still practically the same, passed from generation to generation. As a rule, the chilled evening milk is partly skimmed to produce a fat content of at least 45% in the final product, then mixed with the morning milk. The milk is slowly stirred manually and on wooden fire. Gradually, a natural enzyme coming from the stomach of calves coagulates the mixture and reaches the right point, repeating the formula taught by the ancestors. The whole process takes about half an hour until total coagulation. At the end, with the harp, the product is divided into portions that will be transformed into small grains. All these criteria do not only have a positive impact on the taste of Alp cheese, but they also make it particularly rich on omega-3 fatty acids. Unique techniques, specific herbs, and distinct cultures are responsible for the annual production of about 1,000 tons of high-quality, 100% natural cheese. The cheese is ready for consumption after a maturation period of 6 to 18 months. Most of its marketing is done directly by the producers. Only about 25% is intended for general trade. In order to guarantee the authenticity of the cheese, the Bernese Alpkäse AOP certificate is issued, which proves that all stages of production, from the raw material to the preparation of the finished product, occur in the defined region. Hans-Peter Graf is a professor and consultant for the production of cheese and responsible for the certification. He regularly visits the productions to follow the process. Here, he accompanies Angela in one of the stages of the process, the storage of the product. We're now here at the storage where Angela puts the cheese, which she has produced yesterday, into a salt bath, in which the cheese is preserved and receives a little taste. Tomorrow, the cheese comes out of the salt bath, then laid on to the rack and is groomed daily with weak salt water. The final stage of manufacturing is when it is tasted and proven that the cheese was produced respecting the traditions of the Bernese Alps and is worthy of the legacy of more than 500 years of history. Very good.